All right, everyone, welcome back to uh, Breslov Efrat here at Shira David, Baruch Hashem. It's Yisru Chag today, Baruch Hashem. So uh, we're going to continue with Siyat HaDashmai, of course, our Sphira project from the book of Svarat and Lachem. And uh, we, we didn't meet on Hayyam uh, Chamisha, Yom Em Lomer, right? That was a uh, Friday night, right? And uh, Baruch Hashem. And um, so let's just see, what that was the Mid of Hayit Shebechesed, right? No, 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 Shisha, I'm sorry, I'm, excuse me. We did, we, we, we did that, Yisoyed was, right? right? Shisha, right. Yisoyed Shebechesed. Okay, so the Rebbe says over here, in Hayyam Shisha, Yom Lam, Yisoyed Shebechesed. Yitain ha'odam ha'libay, ki g'day she yizke l'cheidnu l'chesed l'hav ha'meis ha'bari yizbarach. A person to give a place in his heart, in order to, to, to merit to the chain and the chesed and the ahava from Hashem. Yeshlei la'achos be be madregas tzaddik. We have to grab on to the madrega of tzaddik. It's strange, right? It's an interesting thing what he's saying, right? To grab on to the madrega of tzaddik. Why we're talking about yisoid, right? Yisoid. What's yisoid? Kedushas habris. The tzaddikim are very pure. The tzaddikim are pure, right? So. We have to grab on sometimes to that idea of the Yisoy, that we are a tzaddik. You know, today they say someone, they call me, some people, they call it, oh, tzaddik, oh, how you do it, right? There's something to that. I know that in, in Tanya, the Tanya is, uh, he, he's talking about you have to just strive to be a Bainani. But there is something, and again, even the Tanya says that there are moments in our day that we are a tzaddik. Mm-hmm. Right? There are moments in our day that we are at tzaddik. There are moments in the day that we find ourselves to be a Bainani. We find ourselves to be a rush. <laughs> there, there are moments in every day. Right? There are moments that we shine and there are moments that we have to... And, and those are the things that we talk to our Kodesh Baruch at the end of the day. And we make, our, we, we, we make a rec- rec- reconciliation for those things that weren't so good. So there's such an idea to grab on to be a tzaddik. He says now, the Bekoi I try my be- best to have shmiras habris. Purity, purity. So when, how do I do that? I watch what I see, right? The main thing is you see, right? You're walking down the street, you see something you shouldn't see, right? You see a lady that's not dressed properly, right? So you, you look away. That's, that's, that's Bechina Sadiq. You know, Ramchal says, the Ramchal says uh, on that, that, you know, the, 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 always the question is, you know, is it my fault? That I, 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 I'm, I'm just walking down the street minding my own business, and then this lady just walks in front of me. Now, is that my fault? No, it's a test from Hashem. So the Ramchal says, so the Ramchal says that, you know, you see, you look away. But the question is, do you go look again? Do you look back? That's your, that's your, that, that's, that's upon you. Because what you see the first time, you saw it. But now am I just going to, am I going to look away and then wait, wait a second, I want to see that again. I want to look at that again. Then that that's the that's the test. So any time that we that we hold ourselves back from these things, again, don't don't, don't you know you don't have to beat yourself up because you saw the first. It's not that that was that was the test. The question is, what do you do after? Again, like we always say, Hashem puts us in the situation we're in. How do we deal with the situation? That's our bechira, right? Our bechira is not, you know, where I find myself. My Bechir is how Hashem puts me in certain circumstances and how do I deal with those circumstances when I find myself in them that Hashem put me in. Okay, does that make sense? Any questions yeah. on that? First right, time so, free. What? First time is free. <laughs> that's what they were saying. That's, what the Ram, that's based on the teachings of the Ramchal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, no, and in all the tzaddikim, I'll say because again, again, I, whatever I saw the first time, am I going to just am I going to think about it, or am I just going to try to change my thought and try and all? Okay, uh, okay. So you have to do that with with your speech and your words. Yosef a tzaddik, right? He wasn't, he, he wasn't called Tzaddik before he passed the test, he, before he passed the test with Aisha's Paitifa, right? With the wife of Paitifa, when he passed that, that difficult, difficult test. I mean, that was, the, that was the test of all tests. But Baruch Hashem, he did pass that test, so he's called Tzaddik. 
Right then, he, he's called Tzadik because he passed that test again with Shmira Sabris. That's how you get the title. Okay? Nema uh, Bayvayi Hashem es Yosef Vayet Olav Chesed. And it came upon Yosef, he got a, a certain kind of chesed, came upon Yosef at Tzadik because he became, he had this avitin as chane be'enei sar beis asoya. Right, and right away things turned around for him. Anywhere he went, and he was in, he was in, in the, it was in the prison. It was in the base of Sor. But everyone, everyone looked at him in a different way. Everyone, he had a special, he had a special chain about him because again he he passed that test. It was amazing. Right, anything he did, he was always be, he was very matzliach, and no matter, I mean, even he found himself in a jail. <laughs> I mean, that's uh, that's pretty bad, right? I mean, and what did he do? What did he do? And that was another test from Hashem. What was he? How was he going to react to that? Was he going to say to Hashem, "Hey, look what I just did! I overcame my HR. Now I now I find myself in jail." <laughs> right? That was a test, but he didn't. He, he was he was matzliach. So you can come to love the Rabbi Islam through the through the mid of your side. Through the mid of your side, a person can come to love the Rabbi Islam because again, when you when you when you when you certainly work on your purity, so then of course you get more chain. And again, you're doing, and so then HaKadosh Baruch Hu is reciprocating constantly, so he can be, again, he can be mashlam, the Mida of Chesed, through the Mida of Yisoy. And that's why it's Yisoy, Sheba Chesed. Okay, any questions on that? Why 10 years? I mean, that seems like a long time. Huh? Seems like he was in jail for a long time. Okay. That's all. Again, it, it seems it was a long time, but again, you know, Yaakov Avina, when he left, when he was by Lovan, Yaakov Avinu didn't send any message back to Yitzhak Avinu, right? Right. So it's a... Negative. Uh, Hashem always has a... There's a cheshben. There's always, there's always a, a calculation. Again, I don't know. That's I just one like thing I happen to see. That's why I mentioned that. You heard that also, Ellie, right? Yeah. But I don't like the idea of placing the sins of the father on the child. They, they, they're not. No. Okay. Okay. They're yeah. not. In other words, but it worked out for Yosef again the whole time. That ten years, he became greater and greater every day. Because again, why did he have he find himself in that jail? What put him in that? What landed him in that jail? Being uh, Be, being a tzaddik. <laughs> so maybe I don't want to be so righteous. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh okay. <I> just... <laughs> Sorry, no. I... Okay, so the Rebbe says, so, 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 is based on Yira. Again, if a person works on his Yira Hashem, right, that he understands Shavisi Hashem the Negi Summit, so when he comes in contact with certain things, he'll know how to deal with them. If Hashem is there and he has Yira Hashem, so he's going to understand, hey, Hashem, you're with me. I'm not supposed to do this. So again, that makes sense why he could be, why he could be Kenyan Torah with the, with the Yira. Now, today, today's day is Hayyim Shiva Yamim Shayim Shavu Echad Laimer. Now we, now we, we actually leave the, we leave the single, the, 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 uh, the, just the number, and now we go into the week, right? Which is a very interesting thing, right? In, in Hilchas, in Hilchas Sphere. So, uh, if someone, if you make, if one makes a mistake, right? If one makes a mistake and someone asks you tonight, right? What, what, uh, what day it is, right? So, well, I could say it now because there's no way it could be. So let's say tonight it's going to be 8, right? So, so I, I say to the guy, 8. But I said that in the afternoon, right? So then it becomes a question. That becomes a question. Can I count with a bracha today? Or did I count? Right? Did I count? I said 8. I said 8. Right? It's 8. Did I count? Well, they, well really, it's, I didn't really count because I didn't say there was a shua, a shua, a shua, a shua, right? I didn't say, I didn't say, I didn't, I didn't finish it off. So then there's a, there's, you, you can actually count if you did it. But, but on the first days, 
Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, later in the day, even even in Mincha, later mm-hmm. by Mincha Kitana, if you say the day already, that could be a problem. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and on some on some level, that should, so again, be, we should be careful. You always you always supposed to say yesterday I counted mm-hmm. right. That's how you always ask. Someone asks you right. I counted yesterday, this day, then they can, you know, uh, okay, anyway. So now, he says over here, uh, so this is, this is Malchus Sheba Chesed. So we're learning a lot about Malchus, right? Malchus, we said, is the peh, right? Malchus is our mouth, right? Through the Chachma, we can speak, right? So that's what he says now. Yitin Adam Elibay Kikdeshe Yiska Lechesed Lahavas Abayuz Baruch Yeshel Lekabal Atzmai Ol Malchus Shemayim. So a person has to be Mekabal upon himself, the the uh, the ol malchus shemayim. Uh, how do you translate that? The yoke of uh, of, uh, of uh, heaven. What? The yoke of heaven. The yoke of heaven. There we go. The bechol masav A person should think about all his actions in general. Whatever I'm doing in general, just realize I, I'm I'm in front of the presence of Hashem in general. Of a befrat. And again, this is the, the week, it's still the week of, of chesed. So again, and when, he's, when he's doing, when you're going to do a, a, an action, which is a chesed, so of course, think of, think of that. La says, as kulam l'shem avoides Hashem. Do whatever you're doing, do for it to be part of your service of Hashem. Don't just do things. Anything we do in our day can be considered a mitzvah if we do it for avoides Hashem. Right? If we're going to, if we're going to work, and we're earning our livelihood, but I'm keeping in mind that I'm earning my livelihood so I can buy f- food for my family, that I can keep, I can buy food for Shabbos, so that I can pay for my children in school, I can buy my children clothing, and, and I can keep running things and in in doing it in an honest way, so then that, the, the whole fact of going to work, and, and I keep Shulchan Aruch, right, I'm careful what I say, I'm careful what I see in the office, I'm careful what I, all of these things, I'm keeping Shulchan Aruch, it's all part of Avedis Hashem. And then, so it, it could be if, you, if you're cognizant of it. So in other words, even though you may not be learning Torah during the day because you're involved in your business, but your actual business can be considered avodas Hashem because you're acting out what you learn. Right? You only learn, you only learn Torah so you know how to do the mitzvahs. So now if you find yourself working, you're fulfilling the mitzvah. That, that is actually a ma'isa mitzvah if you have in mind to do that. Then the question is, is mitzvah tzrichas kavana, ain't tzrichas kavana? But it's always good to have in mind, okay, like we're learning here. Nimsa masa ges havosay v'chazday shal abayriz baruch haidei kavanosay l'ashem avoydis abayriz baruch. Keeping, always have in mind what I'm doing, to be cognizant of what we're doing during the day, and to, 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 to focus on it. That's what we're learning about in the Lukutei Allah, right? We're learning that whole idea that you have that, that Nakuda Kedosh that comes in in the day, and I have to work on that, and I fill my mind again with 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 uh, with, with Yiras Hashem, and I fill my mind with the Havas Hashem in the morning. So then my day will play itself out, and it'll help me remind and f- to be able to fulfill this all the time to bring the Malchus of Hashem into my day. Right? That's what we're trying to bring. We're trying to bring Hashem's kingdom into our daily uh, into our day. So okay. Today, when I put on my tefillin, yes, I I looked at everything. Oh, you did? You saw? I, yeah, I looked at the, the box. I looked at the... You had the, the shin with the three, three and the four. It, and you yeah, saw the dollar on the, the back. And, the and you saw the... Yeah, and I started thinking about the whole wow. thing when I was, while I was putting it on. I just looked at it and, and thought it's, about it's it. It's all there, right? It all worked out, right? It's amazing, right? And I, and the first time I covered, so... You covered... It's, wow, amazing. Baruch Hashem. It worked, right? Amazing. See that? Unbelievable. And I was looking around the room to see if everybody had their box covered. I, I don't know why, but it was like... Maybe, okay, they'll, they'll, maybe they'll, they'll learn and they'll, they'll know the... Co- okay. okay. I mean, we could, we could teach Listen, them. listen, listen Mordechai, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a minig chasidus in order to, to cover... You don't have to... If you don't cover your tefillin, you still go to the mitzvah. The person still has his mitzvah. But we're just learning how to do it a little bit better. <laughs> Don't, don't ever think someone didn't cover the 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 no, the right right they didn't do any yeah, they didn't do anything them. wrong they didn't no, do no, anything no. wrong they didn't do anything wrong at all okay no, and then I was also I also paid okay. attention to who puts another to fill in them okay okay but Aver now how do you how do you how how should you fulfill this mitzvah let's see that when Kishlitz and Sok it's a dukkal aniyim bedalim if you meet uh, poor or destitute people with tzarich or beis haknesses so you're giving money to the shul. Whatever you're doing to Yeshua, to, to, to Yeshiva, Yishtamish, Biyad Yamin, 
to also always do it with the right hand, right? Anytime you're doing a chesed, in general, you're supposed to do it with the right hand, right? Anytime you do a mitzvah, you do it with the right hand. Again, how do you get the malchus? When I realize what I'm doing. When I realize what I'm doing, that I'm doing, that I'm giving this mitzvah, I'm giving the tzedakah, because Hashem wants me to give the tzedakah. That's how I infuse the malchus into my mitzvah. And I do that with my right hand. And by doing that, by doing it with my right hand, it can be mashlam the 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 mida malchus shebechesed because I put the malchus into my action. No, it's putting him, the, it's putting Hashem into your action, into your day. That's how you can be mashlam the mida malchus. Okay, and then he says over here now the Kenyan Torah today is banova, right? Banova, right? Because we're learning about malchus Hashem. What's another humility, right? Because again, if, if, if a person is very haughty, so then he's not going to have room for our Kaddish Baruch Hu in his life. Because he's worried all about his honor, and he's worried about himself. So if he's worried about himself, he has no room for our Kaddish Baruch Hu. So that one makes a lot of sense why it's our Nova. You can, you can be mashlim the, the, with, with the 48 Kenyanim of Torah today. Ma, ma, he, they, he put in a Nova here. Humility that works very good with Malchus. Because again, our Kaddish Baruch Hu is the Melech, not the individual. Right, Hashem is the Melech, and the, the individual is, is, uh, is, is working for the king. He is not the king himself. So that's our novice. And again, and the main thing here is when, you, when, you do, when you're doing a mitzvah, when you're doing whatever you're doing using your right hand, and you put the cognizance in that you're doing this in front of Hashem, you're as Hashem, why are you doing that? By O Malchus Shemayim. So you be mashal the midah of Malchus with the midah. And how do you do it? When you dive in, you speak. Using the mouth because the mouth, malchus is peh. When you're speaking and, and talking, you always put in the. Okay, so that's the, what we did for today. Any questions or comments on that? No? Okay, good. Okay, let's continue in Hilchas Tfilin now in Lakuti Alochas. Okay, so today we're up to. Uh, we're in Lakuti Alochas, Halacha Bays. And today we're up to, if, if, if I'm correct, is up to Ches. Right, letter Ches, we're up to letter 8. Right? It's very nice. Today in, 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 in Chutzlar, they're doing the 8th day of Pesach, right? <laughs> eight. right? Yeah. yeah. Achron Shel Pesach, right? So they're doing Achron Shel Pesach, so it's 8. So we only do 7 here. Mm-hmm. We do 7, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What a blessing. <laughs> they're both blessings. They're both a blessing. A lot of people, they, they like oh, it I so got, much. I, I liked it. I like this now. It's it's very good. Now I now I, I try to remember remind, remind myself that you know, uh, you know Pesach, Pesach and Sukkot is a little bit different, right? Because Sukkot yeah. you finish the seven days and the eight days already Shmini Atzeres, right? Shmini Atzeres, but Pesach also has a Shmini Atzeres. You know that Shvuas Shvuas is called Atzeres. Another name for Shvuas, the holiday of Shvuas is Atzeres. Mm. So really, really, we have a very long chalamoid, right? It's yeah. a 49, it's a, it's a long chalamoid from Pesach to Shuas, but really we, we have, Pesach has its atzeres also. It's no different than <laughs> Sukkis, it has it, it just, it's, it's, it's Kabbalah Satayra, so you have to prepare yourself to get to there. That's it, okay? Interesting idea. So yeah. we do have, so we do have, and that's one day, you know, so we do that one day, so that's our eighth day, Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. They do that in the United States. Huh? In America, and, uh, and, and they, they do days. two days. They do two days. So they get 10 days altogether. Mm-hmm. The S is fierce. Okay. Okay. So the rabbi says here now today, Al Kain, Tzvilin Sarach Linnak Bahem Kedusha. So, of course, when you wear your Tzvilin, Baruch Hashem, it felt so good to take out the Tzvilin again today, Baruch Hashem, right? Mm-hmm. It was a, we had a little we had a little break, and you know, they say when, you, when, when absence makes the heart grow fonder, right? You ever, you ever heard that expression? I write yeah. absence yeah. great. So you didn't have the tefillin, so you, 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 you wanted them so much more. So, Baruch Hashem, we had the tefillin. Oh, oh. Rav Ruben. Valdik, wow. Wow, Baruch Hashem. We're just, we're just starting the Lukuti Alachas right now. So, Baruch Hashem. Okay. But also, Lichnois Bahem, Lebeis Akise. So now as we understand that you're not allowed to wear your tefillin, right? It's Allah in Shulchan Aruch and Archaim. It's in, in Shulchan Aruch Archaim, right? It's in it's Sibin Mem Gimel, Sif Aleph through Zion. So 
So the Shulchan Aruch it tells us, in other words, you're going to say, wait a second, I know I can't wear my tefillin in the bathroom, but yeah, well, how would you know that? Right? You do, well, we learned that you could go into the bathroom, you wear your tzitzis, right? right? You wear your tzitzis in the bathroom, right? You, wherever you go, you can take your tzitzis, right? So I, I would think, but Shulchan Aruch tells us we're not allowed to wear our tefillin in the bathroom. And that's why we're not wearing them in the bathroom, of course. But also, Linnik Baham, Bekalis Reish, a person can't, uh, you know, uh, be in a frivolous mind state when, when he's wearing his tefillin. We're supposed to be cognizant that we're wearing our tefillin. Right, that's why we constantly touching the tefillin, right? right? And every time we uh, we chant him, right? And we, when we make the bracha, right? All the time before Shmoyn Esra, you, touch, you keep reminding yourself that you're wearing the tefillin because you're supposed, you're not supposed to be, you're not supposed to have kalas reish. Okay, betzuichin guf naki, and of course a person should have his body should be clean. He shouldn't have any feces, uh, you know, or, or any uh, urine on his body, of course. And and daika shaloya fiach by him, and the person shouldn't pass gas. Mm-hmm. Right? These are all halachas in Shulchan Aruch. You'll see this, like I said to you. If you want to see it, it's in it's in uh, 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 Mem Gimel Aleph through Zion uh, one through seven. You can see it over there. Okay, this is what we did the lessons based on that. Now the Rebbe says over here now. Okay, ki tefillin who bechinas ara nekuda kedoshim because tefillin. Is an aspect that we said of this or Hanukuda Kedoshim, right? That Nakuda Kedoshim that we get and every day, right? And the Tfilin are, are a direct connection to this R. It's like a, it's the Tfilin almost a, they're like, they're like antennas, right? They, they, they're receptors, right? They're receptacles, they're receptacles to connect to the high light that's on Shemayim that, that they draw into me through my Tfilin. I use my Tfilin for that. Okay, Shehi Bechinas Shabbos. And we said, we learned the other day, why don't we wear, we don't have to wear our tefillin on Shabbos. We learned, right? We learned that on, on, on Erev Yontif, right? We learned, why don't you wear your tefillin on Shabbos? You don't have to wear your tefillin on Shabbos because, because the whole idea of Shabbos is the sign, right? Shabbos is the ice, right? Like we say, ice he li lam, right? That's the sign. Tefillin, we say, Shatim la ois. Al yodech, right? We say well, that's what we just said before when we're davening, right? Shatem leois al yodech, right? So you put the sign. So tefillin is a sign. Bris is like the the Mayo says ois bris kodesh, right? Ois bris kodesh, ois the sign again. So you see, you have a sign. The bris, our bris is a sign. Shabbos is a sign. Ois he liyolam tefillin who shatem leois al yodech, right? That's a sign, right? So then on Shabbos. We can we 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 don't put on the tefillin because we have the ice of Shabbos, right? Ice he liyolim, right? We have we have the, the sign of Shabbos on, on. So we have the two. We have the ice bris We have the bris, and we have we always, we always have to have two, right? So the, so we understand now that the whole idea, the whole Shabbos is this or and akuda kedoshi bechinis Shabbos. The whole idea of Shabbos is this or Shabbos is the light. Shabbos is the light, right? We, we all believe that, right? We all know that, right? Shabbos has a special light to it. The more we prepare ourselves, the more we can tap into the light, and the more the light is, 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 uh, is, is recognizable us, uh, to us in our lives, but the more we prepare. But the light is always there. Like we're going to learn in a few moments, Shabbos kviya v'kayama, Shabbos is kviya v'kayama. What does that mean? It has a kviya, it has, Shabbos comes in, and it's Kayim, right? It comes in by itself. Shabbos comes in by itself. Kayim doesn't it mean... It, 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 no, fulfill. It's a, 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 a Kiyam. It has a Kiyam. It's always there, regular. It's always regular. It's always the Shabbos comes in, ready or not, here I am. Shabbos comes in. Whether you prepared or you didn't prepare, Shabbos is always going to be there. Right. It's not dependent on... It's not dependent on Chazal. It's not pre- 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 dependent on the rabbis. To, to make, to tell us when, when Shabbos is. Shabbos comes in when Shabbos comes in. The question is, are we prepared? Oh, that, that's upon us. That's, we have to prepare ourselves yeah. for the Shabbos. But the Shabbos comes in whether you're prepared or not. Right? Okay, but Shabbos, okay, right. Uh, it, it, it knows it doesn't need a Bezdin to make it holy, right? When it comes to Rish Chaydesh and Yamim Taivim, right? So then how, does, how do you know what, when, how do you know when Rish Chaydesh is? The, the Adam would come, the witnesses would come, they would be interrogated by the rabbis, and the rabbis would say, uh, it's a Shkodesh, right? Kodesh, Kodesh, right? They, they would say, it's Kodesh, it's Kodesh. Okay, fine. But, but when it comes to Shabbos, 
There's no such a thing. And then the holiday follows suit when they made Rish Chodesh, right? Right, because Pesach's on the 50, right? Every time the holiday follows suit when the Rish Chodesh was. So the holidays are dependent on the rabbis, but Shabbos is not. We, well, we all agree on that? Okay, good. Okay. Vahainu. Shebechina Shabbos, Bechinus Nekuda Kedosha, he kviya vekayama vekdushos latamin. The Kedusha of Shabbos comes in, it's Kriya V'Kayama, it's always there. So that's why you never have to worry about wearing your tefillin on Shabbos, because Shabbos is that light. You get the same benefit of the tefillin as you, on, when, when Shabbos comes in, but it's even more pronounced because you wear it all, you have it all, the, all the, the entire 24 hours of Shabbos. It doesn't change, it doesn't go out. It doesn't go out lachutz. It doesn't change. Shino, it doesn't change. It's not mishtanis. It doesn't change. It never goes out. In other words, it always stays in that confines of Shabbos. It never goes out. Valkain, therefore, uh, 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 now since, since Tfilin, that's what the rabbi says over here, since Tfilin is the same idea, is this, is this, is this concept of the Ar Nekudak and Aisha in the Tfilin, so therefore, I can't take my tefillin out of the realm of holiness either. Same way Shabbos is all holiness, and it doesn't change, and it doesn't go out. Tefillin is that same aspect of holiness as Shabbos, right? So tefillin is the same, it's the same, that same, from, from that, from we said, where does the light come from, remember? It comes from the, from the, from the Yisoyed, of the world of Atsilas, right? When the vessels were broken, the light fell into the, to the, to the, to the, to the sixth level of, of uh, the sixth neighborhood, right? You said, right, uh, Sasha, right? Uh, district, right? We said district, right? <laughs> it fell into the sixth district of Atsilas, and then that's what we're tapping into. What was broken? Hashem, when before he, when be, when Hashem was creating the world, he made uh, he made he filled vessels with light, and and they were overfilled with light, and they shattered. The vessels shattered. Spiritual vessels. We're not talking about physical vessels. Okay. He wanted to. Hashem shatter. wanted them to shatter. He did. He wanted them to shatter. Why did he want them to shatter? Because he wanted those vessels to fall down to this world. Why? Because Hashem wanted us to have bechira. Free choice. So Hashem took these vessels that were now void of the light. Because the light stayed up there. The vessel fell down. But the vessel had light, but now it didn't have the light anymore. So it fell into this world. Why didn't the light fall too? I'll explain it to you. Hashem didn't want the light to fall. Listen, why didn't the light fall? Because Hashem wanted in this world the possibility for man to say there is no God. He wanted that possibility. If the light would have been in this world, that possibility wouldn't have been there. Hashem's presence would have been so vivid. Everyone would see it. It would never, no one would ever would be able to say, there's no Hashem, it's all nature. Hashem wanted that. Why? So that way, so that way we have Bechira. We have free choice. Do I subscribe to that? Or do I subscribe to Hashem? <laughs> you understand? And we said that the tefillin is, is our fortification. Uh, like Mordechai says, it's the inoculation we get every day. Right? We get that inoculation. Is that the right word? Inoculation? That's right? What I said. right? That it's a, the inoculation that we get every day in order to fortify me against all of the stuff of the world. Right? That's why we have to wear the tefillin all the time. And these tefillin are connected to this R, this R in the Kuda Kedosh, that comes from that light. See, you see, that's, you see, you see uh, Reuben, the light is still there. The tefillin bring that light to me every day. The world doesn't have the light. I need to bring the light into me every day. So the tefillin bring, connect to the light that was, that, that was, that, 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 vo- that was uh, avoided from the Caleb, those shards that fell down here. So I can connect to it through my tefillin. You understand? Amazing. <laughs> what? I guess. Well, no, no. Basically, there's light up in, in heaven. Okay. There's no light down here. Now, it's not a light light. It's, it's not. It's light. spiritual light, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. Now, I need that spiritual light to guide me during the day that I could do the right thing. But I don't understand. What? What? Unless it's what? what? For me. Uh, if 
you have something in a vessel and it breaks, whatever's in there is going to fall down, right? So yeah, so you're, saying you you're saying good, you're saying good, you're saying good. Yeah. You're talking about the Rishimu. Rishimu is, if you filled up a cup with, uh, let's say you took a glass and you filled it up with oil. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then you poured out all the oil and then you broke the glass. Yeah. On the pieces of glass, there'll still be some oil, right? Right. Right? Yeah. So, there's, so, yes, there is a little bit of light still in them. That's true. Uh -huh. But it's missing the main light. Okay. It's missing the main light. So, that, those, and now that's why we can actually elevate those nitzaytzes. See, as those, those, those broken shards, those are called sparks. They're oh, sparks. Okay. And that's the little yeah. light that's in them. There is a little bit of light in them. And that's what I can, that's what lends me the ability to actually elevate those sparks. We're supposed to elevate all of those vessels. No, you mean elevate ourselves. We, we, we elevate, via elevating the sparks, we elevate ourselves. Okay? Uh -huh. All right, it, it's a little complicated, but we're just, uh, we'll, we'll talk about, we'll, no, we'll talk, we'll talk about it a little later, but right yeah, now in the, with the lesson, right. with the lesson that's filled in here, which is where, where, where we are, yeah. so we're saying the same way Shabbos has the light, that light from the next world mm -hmm. is filled on Shabbos, and you can tap into that light, again, if you prepare for it, it's there, Right? The bigger a person works on his preparation, purity, and, 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 and he works on his mind, and he, under, he has, becomes more kind, he'll feel, the, the, he'll feel how special Shabbos really is. Uh -huh. Okay? So to it, you tefillin. Tefillin, during the week we don't have Shabbos. Right? But Shabbos enlivens the week. Shabbos brings the light into the week. Because we say that what? Kihi mikar habrocha. Shabbos is the is the is the source. We say in the lechadaydi. Kihi mikar habrocha. Shabbos is the mikar. It's the, the 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 source of all blessing of the world. That's what we just said today. Hayyim yom chamishi b'Shabbos. Right? We said hayyim yom because we're trying to bring Shabbos into our day. Right? Tefillin is also bringing the Shabbos into the day. Also bringing it. All right. So the same way we don't, we don't, on Shabbos, we have to be careful. We're going to learn in a moment that we don't go out of the tchum of Shabbos, right? You have a tchum, you can't leave the tchum, right? You have your, 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 your area that you set aside for Shabbos. You can't go past the tchum of Shabbos, right? Right, the same way. So that's what we're learning now about tefillin. I, can't, I can only take my tefillin into certain places. I can't go out of the tchum of holiness where I go with my tefillin. Okay, the Rebbe said now. So also... Also, Lord says, "Bahem lachutz." I can't take them out. The Hainu lemekayma sheinam nikiim. I can't take my tefillin to places that are not clean, right? I can't take my tefillin to places that are not clean. People won't. A lot of times, won't wear their tefillin in the street because they don't know. They don't know if it's a, if it's clean or not. And if they do have to wear their tefillin, they'll cut, make sure it's covered up. Right, they'll cover up the tefillin if they're wearing. They'll put a hat on top of it. They'll do something mm -hmm. to cover the tefillin because, again, I don't know on the street. It seems clean, but I don't know what's underneath there. Mm -hmm. Right, I don't know if there are bones. There. I don't know what. It, I don't know what's going on really when I'm in the street. I don't know. So therefore, I don't take my tefillin out in the street. Okay. Vikiyotze kiheim bechinas ara nekuda kedusha baatzma she kviya kivua bekedusha liyolam. The tefillin have that same light in them. That's kvuli oilam, right? The, tf the tefillin. When you make the pair of tefillin, right? That you make it from the leather that they work it, and they say the shame kedushas tefillin, and they're doing it the right way, and then they write the parshias and they put them in the right way, and they do everything the right way. So those tefillin have all the time this light. Those tefillin are, are a direct connection to the light of the highest world. Those tefillin, your tefillin. How do you translate kvua? You see, it, it's a, a regular, a consistent. Oh, okay. consistent? Is that a good way to translate it? Uh, it's consistent. Yeah. Consistent, okay? Uh, Ellie, thank you. I always like to c c compare my, you know, <laughs> to, to confirm my words. Okay, but it's like Shabbos. So tefillin is an aspect of Shabbos like that because Shabbos also, the light is regular, constant, the same way the light is regular and constant on the tefillin. Okay? Okay, so we're saying, 
which what, what does it mean? Mekaymei the tchum of Shabbos. A person on Shabbos doesn't go out. Beyoyim Ashvi on the seventh day. Right, so it's the same way I learn now. So you learn tefillin from Shabbos, because Shabbos and tefillin are one of the same, right? The same way at Shabbos I don't go out of my I, out of my tchum, so to with my tefillin I only wear it in places of holiness. All right, so far so good. Okay, Balkain Laila loves man tefillin. Oh, that's another thing, another law, right? You don't wear your tefillin at night, right? No, you don't have to wear your tefillin at night. Why is that? We're going to see in a moment. Okay, that's another rule. Okay, that's another one of the laws that you'll find in, 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 in Archaim Simon Lamed. Okay, uh, and he says like this. Ki, ki bris, which is the Yisoy that we just learned before in, in, uh, in, uh, in, uh, in our Sphere, right? It was Yisoy Shebechesed, right? Ha Mizgalev Bechines Tfilin. The Yisoy is misgale is revealed in the aspect of tefillin. Why? Because we said the tefillin, the tefillin is 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 filled with light. Where does the light come from? The yesoid of atzilus, the yesoid of atzilus. So tefillin, tefillin is 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 bris. It misgale bechines tefillin. The einai meira lechutz ki imayadei bechines malchus. It only goes out. It only goes out with through malchus. And then as we said that really, how does it work like this? We said that really the, 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 the Chochmah, the Bina, the Das, right? All of that. And then the Zer Anpin, the, all the spheres. They I fill my body, I fill my mind with the, with the Chochmah and the Bina, right? I work, I, I process it. I take, the, I take all the, 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 the Chochmah Ilah like we learned about. I take all the Chochmah Ilah, the, the higher, the upper realm of wisdom, and I fill my mind with that. I use the Bina. Bina in my mind is, is how I process the information. I process it. Then I get, I get uh, uh, then, then you get from Chochmah Bina, you get Das. And we said Das is, is really breaks into two. That's the three that breaks into two, which is four. That's how we said one of the idea was with the tefillin. That's why you have three pronged shin on one side, chachma bina das. But then das breaks into two chesed and gvura, and that's why you have the four pronged shin. Remember we learned that, right? That's why you have a three and a four, right? And then what's the what's the significance of the four? Because the chesed and gvura, that's the zer anpin, the lower the realm of the spheres. Chesed gvura tveres netzach yisoy and malchus. But Malchus is all encompassing, right? And Malchus, like we just learned, is all Malchus Shemayim, and Malchus is with the Peh. But I only know, you only know what a person has in his mind based on what he speaks, right? If a person is speaking, right, you could, if you go in the street and you meet a drunk, right, so you see he's speaking nonsense, right? Because right? the guy, he's not in his kalim. He's, he's, he, right? but, and if you meet a, a person and you speak to the person, and the person speaking to you, you can have a conversation. So you know what's in the person's mind, right? So you know, Malchus, it, 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 the Malchus of the person, of, of everything in that person is, is, uh, is um, revealed. Maybe we can use that word. It's revealed through the speech. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So just to reaffirm something. Yes. And there are seven levels. Is that how many you said? There are ten that, that no, no, turn, no, ten sphera. Ten spheres. No, yeah. but but, but there are uh, like an atzilus. Seven lower, seven lower ones. No, but you said I'm going. I'm trying to. Ah, uh, okay. There's how many total sphera are there? Because there's a different. There's like ten. Atzilus. There's ten. There's ten in atzilus. Ten in 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 in, uh, yeah, in bria. Are, ten in yitzira. Ten then ten in in uh, in uh, asiya. So there's four. Forty. Four worlds. Forty. Four, right. Four worlds. I have I'm creating an art picture in my mind of having four uh, sphera showing four levels, so I can be reminded of the ah, various. Okay, okay, uh, okay, okay. That's good. Okay, but that the main thing is here the malchus, which was, which comes out through deeper, through yeah. our speech, through our speech. Bechinas pi yedaber chachmais. P, we learned a lot about this before, right? P, Yedaber Chachma. My mouth will speak the Chachma. P, Yedaber Chachma. will speak Chachma, right? And it's based on what I fill my mind with. If I fill my mind in the morning, early in the morning with, 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 um, with HaKadosh, with Hashem, and, and the idea of Omal Chashemayim, and because and, and I'm connecting to the Chachma Ilah, 
all the time. Why are you doing that? So then again, when it'll manifest itself through me, and it'll 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 be revealed through the Malchus Peh. Okay, Pi Yadaber Chachmas. Kamaisha Kasu Sham Bemaima now. Okay, as the Rebbe, we, we learned a lot about that. Ki ika aris ha nekuda le sakein ha kelem anishbarim. Because the main way, the main way we can work on these broken vessels, right? These shards that we talked about, is that they only have the little rishim of light, those that, that, that fell down. So we can work on fixing these kelem. We can work on fixing those vessels. How do we work on them? Kemavoya sham tikunim ayadei bechines kelem chadoshim. I make new vessels. I make new vessels. Now, what are the new vessels? My words. Words are vessels. Words are vessels. When I do, when I speak the right way, and I have the right, and I and I have the right intention, so then those vessels are, are complete vessels, and those vessels can now be filled with light. So that's why it's very important. Like we always say, when we dive in, we have to actually say the words, because when you say the words, you're creating the vessels. Right? We're not, we don't just scan the words. Because even though Hashem is Yodeya Machshavah, Hashem knows our thoughts. But that's great. So you'll get credit for your thoughts. Okay, great. But you're not going to create the vessel in order to repair the broken vessels. You understand? You know, you need to make new vessels to repair those vessels. He's going to say now, Vizer, Nasa Yodeya Diba Daike through Diba, through speaking. We always have to speak. Is by the when we speak to Hashem is through words. You talk to Hashem. It's words, not thoughts. Yes, even though Hashem knows our thoughts, but use words. Words are always creating vessels. Words are vessels. vessels ma- with light? They, they'll be filled with light. Those vessels, you'll make the vessel, Hashem fills it with the light. Come and bring it. Yes. Yes, but you need the vessel. Is yeah, that repairing the vessel that came in? And that's how we repair. Yeah, we're going to see in a moment. We're going to see in a moment. So is that really uh, we're creating? You're creating a new vessel, a new, a vessel? new vessel, a new vessel that helps repair the other vessel. Got it. Okay. Bechin. Okay. Malchus per ki adiba u bechinas kli ashefa because the 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 whole idea of speech. The whole idea of speech is an aspect of the clear yashefa. It's a kli, a vessel that has shefa. Shefa's bounty, oh. bounty, light, blessing, abundance. What? Abundance too. Well, well, well bounty. Yeah. yeah well, is that the right? Uh, you say abundance. Okay. Uh, you like abundance? We'll use abundance. Okay. I changed that. David says it says abundance, so we say abundance. Clay yashefa is the vessel of abundance. Okay. So, okay. I have a question. Yes. This book says beneficence. Beneficence. Okay. I don't know what that word means, beneficence. Hey, where are the character traits? <laughs> what? Where are the character traits in here? Like, if I have chesed or if I'm angry. Yeah. Is that... Anger is, coming to, anger is coming through gvura. The word strength? Strength. It comes from the midah of gvura. That's where anger comes from. No, but, so, I mean, but what am they, I angry about? No, I, what I'm trying to get is like, right. is that in the vessel without light that's influenced me? To no, no, you're light? mixing things up no, now. No, 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 I, no, no, I, no, 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 no. Okay, what's that? Mordechai. Okay, here now we're talking. With, here we're yeah. talking about Malchus. Okay, Malchus is all the meters together, how it manifests itself through the Deber Peh, Piyadaber Chachmai, through the mouth. We're not focusing on the other things right now. We will okay. learn about those things. Okay. But but that's not right, what we'll right. learn. That's not the lesson today. Gotcha. Okay. Today we're fine. focusing how can I make repair on the vessels that were broken? Right. That we have those uh, through me making new vessels through uh, through and how do I make the new vessels by using the chachma ilah that I fill my mind with early in the morning and I speak. So that's in fact making repair for all of those vessels that were broken. Not actually repairing, it's yeah. creating new. New, which is a repair. We're going to, one minute, stay, stay. <laughs> okay. Ki adiba hu bechines klei ha-shefa. Beneficence, what was the word they used? Yeah. Beneficence. Beneficence, okay. Bounty, bounty is fine. Bounty, okay. I always said shefa is bounty. Okay. Shebeh mekabla, okay, okay. Kemay she kosov sham v'hainu. Bechines kelem, mesake in anishbar. I made kelem. To fix the ones that were broke. Mm-hmm. In other words, it was a broken one, so I make a new one. 
And somehow that's making the repair again. I don't. I'm not going to tell you the the. This is deep 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 Kabbalah. Okay, and, but but on a basic level, we can understand it for the way Rav Nassim is, is presenting it to us. When we fill our minds with the right ideas, so then we'll speak the right ideas. Doing that, I'm making re- major repairs. Wow, that's all I have to know. I picture it like uh, when they do uh, bypass sur- sur- surgery, they uh-huh. take another vein, another channel, and they rechannel it. They go around, the old, the old one just disappears, but they make a new channel with... Or oh, a new vein. They make a new vein? They take a new vein out of your leg. And that fixes the other one? It, it bypasses. That's what okay. It's by, it, okay, it, okay. It creates a new... A new channel. A new channel, which is what we're talking about here. That's how I picture it. That's okay. That's fine. In other words, you have, you have a new channel, you have a new vessel, that makes, and then those vessels keep bringing me light during the day, because I make brachas during the day, I keep speaking. Right? So I put right. the tefillin on, so I have that inoculation. That gives me that, that good inoculation. But I need boosters all during the day. Right? You like that idea of boosters, right? I like that. Yeah, that's a good you one. need the boosters. And what's the boosters? Every time you make a bracha, every time you say a good word, every time you do, the, you do, you do something right, you're, 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 you're creating more words, more vessels, so you get more light constantly coming in your day. It's a beautiful system. It, it, it's unbelievable. And that's why when you make a bracha, say the bracha, right? Say words, because you're saying words, say the words, don't just yes. think the words, say the words, make those vessels so they can be filled with uh, beneficence and bounty. <laughs> I learned a new word today, okay. Okay. Shalor <laughs> okay, here we go. Now, Baal came balayla, oz bechinus malchus de kedusha. Night is the malchus de kedusha. What does that mean? It's the malchus that, that goes down uh, that, uh, to the by We know at night, right? The Gemara in Brachas says that the night is divided into three into three watches, right? As the first night, the first section of the night, the the, the, the Gemara brings down that the that Akhtar the Brachas gives over the control to the Metranusa, right? That's what the Gemara says, right? There's a he gives over the control, uh, so to say, Hashem gives over control. All right, so that's why the first section of the night we learn is 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 a, is void of some kedusha, and therefore we're supposed to go to sleep because that's the time that there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the world and all of the impurity goes on at that time, and you see how it manifests itself in the in the world, right? All the stuff is happening in that first section of the night. That's where it begins, okay? Because again, Hashem allows that again for bechira again. Hashem wants bechira in the world. Hashem wants Bechira. We have the free choice. I have to choose. Am I going to do the right thing or not do the right thing? Ruben, you were telling me that you went to, uh, yesterday you were telling me that you went to, uh, to public school, right, right, when you were a child. Right. And, then, and then you were in the school. And then all of the parties were, went on Friday. Now you were telling me this, right? right. See, I paid attention to what you told me, right? They, they, they had parties and you couldn't go. And you were considered the out. They thought you were the outcast. Right. No, but you were, you, you, were, you, were, you, were doing the, you were doing the right thing. Okay. You would do, no, you did the right thing because you didn't go. That was the Bechira. Oh, sure. You had free choice. Right. Free choice said, hey, I can go to the party. Everyone else is going. Yeah. Why don't I go? No, but I want to connect. I'm not doing that because I'm not like that. Yeah. I don't do that. See, that was the free choice. But again, you couldn't accomplish what you accomplished if there was no party. True. You can only accomplish it because the other side is there. You understand? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, Kamuva. So at that time, so that night, the night time, you see this, Sasha, the night time is almost an aspect of, of a, a impure place. The same way you don't take it fill in, in an impure place, right? Like we said, you don't take it to their bathroom, you don't take it outside. Why? Because again, that's the R and the Kuda Kedosha. I keep it in a double bag. I keep it concealed when I go outside and make sure you have at least a double covering when you carry it so it's covered, right? So the same way, the, but the, the night time is that whole, everything is impure. So why, because, do you, why are you supposed to learn at night? Oh, because if you learn Gemari, the, okay, so, so Chazal tells us that if you learn Gemari at night, you get the Chud of Chesed for you in the morning. Oh. But, but, but really, we learn, we learn over here that really when it says you learn at night, Learn at night after chatzos. 
really? Learn at night after Chatzos. Uh -huh. That's the best. That's uh -huh. the that's also night. Uh -huh. That's also night. But that's when Hashem takes back control. Uh -huh. From the matron, so that's again Hashem's taking control, and then when I learn, then then I can get the chud of chesed upon me. Okay. So yeah, you're supposed to learn at night, and then if you listen, if a person ha you can't, some people do very good at night, some people do very good, and they're not morning people. I know that I, I don't understand it, but that's what people say. I think they're not morning people because they go to sleep too late at night. That's why they're not morning people, right? right? I, I think that I, I believe that's what it is. They go to sleep very late, so they're tired in the morning and they're awake at night. Right, that's why. But I think if they would work on going to sleep early, right? So then they would get up in the morning, they'd be okay. And then they'd get tired at night and go to sleep and they would fix the cycle, right? Right, right. right? okay. So the learning more is before Chatzuzah or after? After Chatzuzah. Yeah. That's the best thing to do. Mm -hmm. But that's if you go to sleep before Chatzuzah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, if you can, then look, Sasha, everyone has to do what they can. And and uh, and again, at least you know what it is, and that's what we're learning. We know what it is, and then the Rebbe always tells us you're supposed to take your Torah and turn it into a tefillah, right? Any time you learn something, right. turn the Torah into a prayer. How do you do that? Oh, so when you finish learning something, you say to Hashem, Hashem, look, I just learned these great ideas here. I like to accomplish them in my life. Please guide me and help me accomplish these things that I just learned. You hear what it's means? Yeah, that's a Yehi so yes. Yeah. But you make it in your own words. You don't need to have a Yehi so You're doing your own words. Take your Torah that you learn and, and, and turn it into a prayer. Mm -hmm. Turn the Torah that you learned, the, the teaching that you got, turn that teaching into a prayer. Pray to Hashem that I should be able to fulfill what I just learned. Yes. So are you saying that ideally you should learn after Chatzot, but what, so after Shkia, or when nighttime comes in, that's not as ideal as after Chatzot? No, it's so not as ideal, no. It's not as ideal. That's what you're saying. But but if you can, it's okay, so you do that. You, again, everyone does what they can do. You still get credit. So, but, of course you'll get credit. Learning during daylight... You're better off learning Chatzos, during the day or, or and then the go day. to sleep as early as you can and get up by Chatzos. Okay. Or so get up an hour time. after Chatzos or so two hours after, like Rabbi, no, we, did, we spoke about that a so lot. So you have more time to learn. Yeah. In the ideal way. Yeah, yeah, because again, if you, if, if you think about it practically, let's think about it practically, okay? So, so if you're home, right, if you're at home and you have your kids running around, so they're, they're generally up at night, uh, 8, 9, 10 o'clock, right? right? Right. And then they go to sleep, right? So if you went to sleep earlier, right? And then you get up now at 3 o'clock, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, whatever time you can get up, and now you can learn they're all sleeping. <laughs> they're, by that time, they're all sleeping, right? The wife, your wife is sleeping and the children are sleeping. Yeah, you can sit and learn. You can do what you want. It's quiet. The house is quiet. Well, when do you wake them up so they can learn with you? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it depends what age they are. Right. Yeah. It, but again, you know, you need your, your quiet time with Hashem also. Yeah. You know, so, so again, you may want to learn with your kids more, you know, when they come home from school or uh, yeah. whatever, what have you, okay? Whatever, whatever, okay? But that, that's a, a, a practical time. That's a good time to get up that you don't have to, you, you don't have one, no one's bothering you. Right? No one bothers you. It doesn't make sense, Sasha. You... And again, we have the to... Whole world it, sleeping, yeah. Right, as long, as long as we know that, so we know what we're learning, we're learning, so then we could, we could work on putting it into practice. And then Hashem, please, let me put this into practice. I want to put this into practice. Okay? All right, so now we understand why the children, I don't wear it at night. So I learned to understand now why I don't wear, I don't take it into the bathroom. I understand because that's the R and the Kuda Kedosha. So I'm not going to take that into an unclean clean place. Of course not, right? Because it's connected like Shabbos, right? In the same way, Shabbos, we said I can't go out of the Tchum, right? I have a certain a, a line that I can go, right? I can go to two, two, the, 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 the mill, whatever, whatever, the, whatever the measurement is, right? I can go to that measurement. Uh, on Shabbos, and I can't go past that, right? The Tchum of Shabbos, right? So too, with my tefillin, I don't take it out. Now we said, why don't I wear my tefillin at night? Because at night, the whole thing is of impurity. Because Hashem took, the, his, took his control away, so to say, and he gave it to the matronusa. So then I'm not going to want to wear my tefillin at that time. Right? I'm not going to want to wear my tefillin at that time. 
I want to wear my tefillin again when the earliest time I could put them on when, when, when I can in the morning, what's why, considered why the morning. Why wouldn't it be after Katsos? Hmm? Why wouldn't it be after Katsos? Because it's still, cause it's still night. Because it's still Lila. It's still dark. It's still oh, dark. Wow. The same way like we said, that the, 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 when it comes on Shabbos, and we have the Sudas of Shabbos, right? So, it's, you know, you would think the Friday night meal is Avraham, mm-hmm. and the morning day is Yitzchak, but it's not. The Friday night is Sudas Yitzchak. Is it? Yeah, it's Sudas Yitzchak, and Friday and Shabbos morning is Sudas Avraham. Why is that? Because at night, it's still night. Yeah. It's still night. It's still dark. Right. So that's part of the Midah of Gvura. That's Yitzchak. Oh. At day, during the day, it's bright, it's nice. Well, maybe not, whatever. But on a normal day, it's nice and bright, it's nice. And then that's Avravina, that's Chesed. Oh, chesed. Okay. Yeah, Chesed. So again, the Tefillin, I wear my Tefillin. I want to connect it to the Chud of Chesed, like we're learning, right? So I wear my Tefillin during the day, not the, with, the, with the night with the Gevurah. Right? We said that the putting on the Tefillin, when we tie them, remember we said we use the right hand. And we tie the left hand, right? We tie the, or lefties, lefties do it the other way. It's, it's the same thing. It's the same thing, okay. right? Either way, you're, you're using your right hand to tie it on your left hand, which is the same, just reversed. Right. It's a mirror image. That's it. When I look at you doing that, it's, you're doing it, the, you're doing it, the way, right? The right way. You're doing it the right way. When I look at you doing it, right? right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's all. That's all. It's the same thing, right? Yeah. So again, I take the, I use my right hand. But this, the hand of 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 of, um, of, uh, of Chesed, and I take the and I and I tie down the gvura. I want to keep the gvura in check. I want to keep the din in check. That's why I'm tying the tefillin on to the thing because I'm taking the gvura and I'm keeping it in check. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. So then that's why we say we don't wear the tefillin at night because night is a time that there's impurity. So again, I'm not going to want to wear my tefillin in that. So we shouldn't do, do shachrit outside? Like when the pandemic, we couldn't go anywhere. Well, now forget about the pandemic. Don't okay, talk but, about but, that. Okay, no. but we can do shachrit <laughs> outside? We shouldn't pray outside, you, shachrit? You can pray outside, but but really we the, the ideal thing is to pray in a shul. In a shul. Yeah, but you can pray, as Yitzhak Avinu was Yitzhak Basada, he went out to the field, and Yitzhak prayed in the field, so you can do that, but we have a shul, so the best thing is to daven in a shul. And not at home. Uh, okay, we're going to learn about that with, with a minion. It's a, 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 two more lessons, okay? okay? It's coming up, coming up. Rak bayoyim, ba'az oila malchus. Look at this. Now here, Sasha, this is what your thing. Rak bayoyim, only by day, sha'az oila malchus im kola di beirurim. Because then the, all of the, the malchus is elevated with all of the clarifications because it, 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 it's clarified and the, and, the, and the good goes back. Ela kedusha to the to the kedusha. Vazai meya ara nekuda v'nasin tefillin. That's how you can get, and that's how the 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 um, the, the 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 light of the malchus, the light of the malchus, like we're talking about, is is uh, is is is, uh, is getting filled with the light of the tefillin. Ki ara nekuda meira raka yedei bechinus malchus, because the ara nekuda is only illuminated with the with the malchus, which was peh. Right, so in other words, when I daven and I get up early and I speak and I speak, do my isbay to this, I speak to Hashem and I say my tilim, I learn a gemara, I learn halacha, whatever I'm doing during that time, that's a lot of, uh, I'm creating a lot of vessels. So those vessels fill more light into me. When I put on those tilim, wow, they all illuminate tremendous because the tilim, the tilim have a tremendous connection again. So the tefillin really elevate all of the, uh, even even fill those k- kalim that I had with, 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 with much, much brighter light. You understand? Because I'm wearing my tefillin, and the tefillin that I connection, in which we said the tefillin is Yesoid bris, which is connected to the Yesoid of Atzilus, okay? Okay, it's, it's all, the, the whole thing works mm-hmm. in a system, okay? The Bechinas Piyadaber Chochmois, as it says, Piyadaber Chochmois, with my mouth I'll speak Chochma, Malchus, we said, is Peh, well, keep saying that because that's what you always have to remember. That how do you get your malchus? How do you rel- how do you see malchus in your in your? How does it play itself out? How does it manifest itself during your day through your speech? Through your speech, malchus is pet. and that's the really the culmination of all of the spheres in of your system is the malchus, which is the words that you use. That's why we have to always be very careful and choose the words that we're going to use, right? 
Uh, so, and, and that's why we wear the tefillin only in the morning. We put on the tefillin because, again, <laughs> that's when the Beirurim are clear, the clearest, right? The, all the clarifications are very clear. Everything is bright in the morning, right? Like we say, when you see the sunlight, we learned, remember a couple of months ago, we learned when you see the sunlight, what are you really looking at? You're looking at the light of Hashem. The sunlight is really the light of Hashem. Why? Because where does the sun get its power from? <laughs> it's only shining because it's uh, Hashem. So when you look at the sunlight, you see the light of Hashem. That's what you're really looking at. Right? Okay? And again, these are all the, red, the things that we have all through our day to recognize Hashem through our day. Does anyone have any questions on this so far? Okay, so can we go, uh, I, I think maybe we should stop over here. It's, uh, it's getting a little later, or we have more time? It's, 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 it's almost eight. That's when they're they're going to start, start. Okay, so everyone, okay, so Shkayach will continue tomorrow. Be'ez uh, Hashem, and then we'll finish, uh, we'll finish Halacha Ches. And then uh, soon, what, we're going to be finished, what? We just did Ches. No, yeah. No, we'll do the Oh, the Tes. No, we're middle of, we're in middle of, Tes. Yeah, we finished Chaz. Yeah. So where are we up to now? We're in. Okay. Oh, test. Very good. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. We'll start test tomorrow. Shkoyach, everybody.